Welcome to the Weekend Handyman channel. Today we're going to show you how to rewrap your A, B, and C pillars on this BMW. Take a walk with me to the back of the car. Low side of it. You can see we got some warpage here. The front pillar's peeling too. And then in the back here you can see it peeling off with the pillar. So we're going to replace that today with a different kind of fabric. In order to do this project, you need a few things. First, you need something to do the work on. Got a piece of plywood here. You need some fabric. Instead of doing gray, we're going to do black. It's going to look a little bit better. And this is a a fox suede material. It was off of Amazon. We got about two yards here for like seven dollars. Uh, you're gonna need some kind of fabric glue. This is Loctite adhesive. Um, some glue remover you may need if the glue's on thick enough on the pillars. I don't think we're gonna need it though. You need a pair of scissors to cut the fabric. Uh, a T50 Torx bit to remove the seat belt and a T20 Torx bit and a T25 Torx bit as well as some kind of screwdriver. We're gonna use a multi-tool. Uh, Phillips head and a flat thread screwdriver and a pair of pliers will help a lot. Now you're going to begin by lifting up this plastic piece here since we're repairing the fabric. I really don't care if it gets cut or anything. You can use a really slim flathead screwdriver or a knife and you're just going to get it up under there and gently pry up on it. It's a little bit difficult to get the right angle, but there we go. Then you just follow it down and gently pry up. And Oops. Switch to our flathead here. Uh, you may break one or two of the clips under this. That's okay. You can just lightly glue it back down later. It's not really that big of a deal. It's not really an important piece. It's just cosmetic. Yep. Yeah, we broke the clip. No biggie. Just take it out. Yeah. Okay. Cut it. Next step is to remove the three torque screws holding this in. There's three of them. And uh, they're a T20. Do it slowly. It's going to take you a while. And uh, you want to be careful because you do have an airbag in here. So take your time. Can cut now because now to get this out that the screws are out you just kind of gently peel it off and pull it up away from the dash and you'll see it slowly come out ever so slowly be gentle because you don't want to break it these are not cheap pieces unless you go to a junkyard so all right the next step to get the b pillar off to start this is probably the most pillar difficult pillar to get off we're going to use the leatherman the flathead part, and put it in there Gel it gently you don't want to ruin anything just try to get the, the panel to peel slightly away, like so up, just knocked it there, yep. And then, we're gonna stick something big down in there to get some more space. Okay, we kinda got something in there. I'm gonna use a plier head in there too. Get some space for our fingers, and then you're just gonna get your finger in there. Plier head a little bit, get the fingers in there, and you're just gonna pop the clips really hard, like I said. There you go, you hear the clip pop, and you're just gonna pull this out a little bit. So, after we pull the panel off, you're gonna notice there's two pins that look like this. We spent a while trying to get these out uh, until I figured out that we're gonna pull this part out, the center piece out with the pliers. I have to stick them in there a little bit to get it to pull out, and then just pull it all the way out with the pliers, and you'll see that that provides room for this thing just squish and you just pull the pin out so we're gonna do that now we can camera as you can see we just popped a little part of the pin out a little bit with the uh, flathead and grasp it with the pliers as good as we can you don't want to drop this because you're probably never going to get it back yep <laughs> take your time with this part definitely don't want to drop anything And there's a whole pin. Then you just do the second one. It's really difficult to get to it. But uh, we can get it. Pros. This is a lot easier than the last side. I'm sure you know this. Next step is take the seatbelt off. I'm just going to remove this cover here. Pop that right off. It's a lot easier than the other side. T50 Torx. Take the bolt out. When you put these back in, please put them back in good, because this is your seatbelt bolt. It's a long bolt. That's what she said. You might want to leave that in there. Come on. There you go. Um, that's why it's a long bolt, apparently. Pull that off. Get in the car. And then you're just going to pull this away and then down. 
as far as you can go. And there it is. There's a seat belt. And then this part, because we're recovering it and I want it to be there. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, pull it all the way down to the wide part. Lightly pry out. Yeah, it'll just pop right out. And we're ready to recover these pieces. In a minute. Yep. Really? There we go. Alright, to take the seat pillar off the car, uh, you're going to have to pry the light out. So it's going to take a minute and you want to be careful because you don't want to break it. Probably not a cheap part. Stick a screwdriver up in there, get that under there. Then you can start with a, another screwdriver or flat piece around the edge. And there it goes. Pops right out. Just plug. There's no pins or anything. Just pull it out. And then inside there, it is a Torx bit T20. I'm just going to remove that. If you drop it in there, uh, there's a high likelihood that you'll be able to get it back fairly easy because it's probably just going to sit on one of the ridges inside the part, so don't be too afraid to drop it, but it's still not a good idea to do so. There we go, and then the next part is just pull it off. There's two clips in here holding it up. Um, if you break one of them, it's probably not going to affect the way that the pillar sits. So just pull it off. Easier said than done. There we go. And then just work it out. Oh, no broken clips. Broke one clip on the other side. There we go. Okay, we're done. Now we're just taking the fabric off the pillars. You can see BMW did a terrible job and only went to the edge. That's why it peels off and it looks like crap. All right, so now we just cut the fabric to size and we're gonna spray it with glue and then you're gonna let the glue tack up for two to five minutes or whatever your directions say. Your next step is to stick the pieces of suede onto the pillars. As you can see, it's easier said than done. It's also very helpful to have an extra set of hands to help you with this process. The A pillars are probably the easiest ones in the car to, chance to recover. The B and the C pillars are more difficult. The B pillar is only slightly more difficult, but the C pillar is probably the most difficult to do. But as long as you go slow and help helping hands, you should be able to successfully recover both the B and the C pillars. What you're watching is what it took to cover one of the C pillars, but after you've covered both the A, B, and the C pillars, your next step is to do generous amounts of trimming. You're basically going to have to cover or trim off all of the extra uh, fabric that's on the inside of the pillars in order to make them fit. Since adding the fabric adds thickness to the uh, pillars, it ends up being a very tight fit and you have to do a lot more trimming than you might think you would have to. Now we're reinstalling this piece. Uh, just like the front, we had to do a lot of trimming to get it to fit right. Oops. Yep, I dropped stuff. So we're throwing the seatbelt back through and we're going to pull the panel away. Drop this down in and there's the seatbelt. <laughs> okay, now that this is dropped in, we're going to tuck the excess fabric under. You're going to catch these two prongs on the inside and you're just going to slide up until you hear a click or no click and it just goes up. <laughs> you're going to tuck the uh, part under the, the weather stripping in the back. Gently with a flathead screwdriver, you probably can't see that because everything's black and the lighting's terrible. And just run down the headliner, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the thing the flathead and just pop it up over that part there. Nice and easy. Just, I'm gonna do the same thing. Same thing out here. <clears throat> Reinstalling the pins and pull the head back out. I'm gonna grasp with the pliers, pull the panel back and thread it through the hole and it's gonna take some pressure to get it back in but should theoretically go right back in. Yeah. 
It's very hard to see due to the low lighting, but this is what the job will look like after it's done. It creates a very nice contrast with the black versus the gray. Um, to give you a better idea, here is a picture of what it will look like. If you're planning to do this job to your car, plan on, or plan on leaving yourself about five hours to do all the work. That includes the removing the panel or pillars, tr uh, removing the old fabric, trimming the new fabric to fit, gluing it, waiting for it to dry, and then trimming and reinstalling the pillars. The most difficult steps would be um, trimming and refitting the panels. Good luck, and thanks for watching.